Hey everyone, Mike Vulcan here with another Freelancer Masterclass video. Be sure to go to FreelancerMasterclass.com to learn about subjects like this and more in great detail that will show you how to be a master freelancer. Today we're going to go through the top five project management platforms. As a freelancer, you have to be able to manage multiple clients and multiple projects and multiple tasks within each of those clients. How do you keep all that straight? Well, there are some very common platforms out there. I'm going to go over my top five today. Now, this isn't my top five favorite. This is just the most top five common. There are over 30 different project management platforms, probably 50 if you do deep dive into which one might be right for you. But for individual freelancers and for small teams of freelancers, the five I'm going to outline here are probably one of the five you're going to choose because they're the most common and really have been designed for small teams and individuals. This first one is called Smartsheets, if you haven't heard of it yet. It basically allows you to focus on the collaborative aspects of project management, whereas traditional tools like some of the other ones I'm going to show you uh, tend to focus more on schedules and priorities and tasks. So Smartsheets is great if you have a client or a group of freelancers that you need to collaborate with and come to a conclusion with in a tabular-based format like uh, Excel. Excel is very, very similar to Smartsheets, except it's in the cloud and it's collaborative. So if you have a lot of work that is collaborative in nature, Smartsheets might be the one for you. This is Function Fox. Um, I like Function Fox a lot and used to use it quite a bit. It is a cloud-based uh, time tracking and project management application, and it offers timesheets and estimates. So if you are someone who is an hourly based freelancer uh, who works um, per hour and not on a monthly fee for a client or a series of clients, Function Fox might be the one for you. It also allows you to track project costs, which is great too, and expenses. So when I um, worked in a particular way as a freelancer where I had to carefully track expenses that I spend on other freelancers for a client, um, Function Fox was my tool of choice. So in my case, as a marketing strategist, if I take on a client that says, you have a particular budget, let's just say $50,000 a month, I want you to hire five people and manage them all, I would work in Function Fox so I can understand if I had 10 projects going for that particular client and I had a team of five people and they all had to come in under a certain budget, Function Fox is great for that, okay? Now here's a popular one, especially for e-commerce companies, called Airtable. Airtable is capable of storing huge amounts of data as a database. And then you can create a lot of dynamic views uh, to let you sort everything from basic data to complex tasks with custom filters and parameters. So if you're that type of person who likes to filter and make tables of everything, Airtable might be right for you. And you can see that you create workspaces right here. Workspaces are defined by what type of task you're looking to do. So if it's a product launch, uh, if you want to track, uh, if you want to do a sales CRM or, or user studies, you can basically launch a workspace that has to do with that particular project. And then your template is pretty much created for you. Okay. Trello. Now, Trello is designed to help you manage tasks in a simple but effective Kanban view. Now, a Kanban view is a card-based view of your projects, much like this view right here. Kanban views are very popular, especially if you uh, like to work with Apple, Apple software, Apple Mac computers, okay? Uh, that kind of mindset, that creative mindset that allows you to kind of process and uh, take in information is usually coinciding with a Kanban view. Now you'll have, uh, you can have these as team tasks, like each of these columns, and then certain items are grouped by color, and then you simply click and drag them from one column to another. And a lot of content marketers and designers like Kanban views because you can take a column and make it a particular section of a flow. So let's use this content marketing as an example. You have a, uh, a, a column here on research. You have another column on title selection. 
you have another column on content, you have another column on final draft and grammar check, and then you have another column on deliver to client. You know, that's a flow from beginning to end on how a project uh, starts and finishes. So then you color code them uh, on anything. It could be on a particular client. It could be on 50 plus different content pieces you're creating. But once one step is done, you just click and drag it to the next step. That's what a Kanban view is. And if you like that, if you process information like that, then Trello might be your tool of choice. For me, though, the way I process information is much like the way Teamwork presents it to you. So everything is task-based on a list. And if you haven't yet, look at my project management software video on where I go through Teamwork. But everything on Teamwork is task-related, even conversations. So you have a list of tasks that can then be prioritized from top to bottom. And within each of these tasks is a separate conversation thread. So instead of email, when conversations get lost in various subject lines and buried on threads, you don't have that issue with teamwork because you can go into a particular task and see the conversations for that task. If you process information like that, then teamwork might be right for you. Any of these solutions will work for you. It's just a matter of which one you like best and which one the way that you process information coincides with the, the way that this particular flow of this project management software will work for you. So take a look at those five, take my descriptions and see which one coincides with you the best and organize your day. Good luck.